Hi guys, my name is Shiv and you are watching Life Academy. Today we will make a C++ program on finding mean variance and standard deviation. Here I have already made the program. Before explaining the program, let us, let us see some important formulas. As we know, mean is equal to sum of numbers divided by numbers and variance is equal to summation x minus x bar whole square upon n minus 1 and standard deviation is under root variance. Before explaining the program, I will first uh, run the program so that it will be easier for you to understand the program program is compiling and here is the output how many numbers to type let us suppose 10 uh, those 10 numbers uh, i will enter randomly any 10 numbers 2 3 5 6 8 4 2 1 3, 6, okay. as the program so numbers are and the program gives us result mean value variance and standard deviation now I will explain you the program if you want this program you can check in the description box Hash include iostream, hash include cmath or uh, header files. iostream input output stream and cmath is for calling any mathematical function in the program using namespace std. std means standard. Uh, int main uh, starts. We will start the program. Everything is in the main bracket here we declare the variables n j and y int is data type and then we declare variance and sum it's equal to zero initial value of sum is zero and uh, see out how many numbers to type you can see in the output first of all how many numbers to type comes that is number of numbers we want to add uh, for that for, to this line to come in output we use this c out and then c in y to enter these numbers and then we want to type the numbers then we ask the user to type numbers type numbers for that c out type numbers then we apply for loop for loop um, until this condition is satisfied until this condition is satisfied uh, again the same result will come in this loop when this condition is not followed then it proceeds uh, along the program here we declare a array array max array named as max array is a set of numbers max having value then c in max uh, c in uh, we provide the values in the max as you can see uh, here 2 3 4 6 8 four, all these values are given in this c in initially we have taken n equal to 0 this is n node n1 and 2 and 3 and up to so on then c out numbers are numbers are slash t here is tab this means is tab tab means space space comes all between these here comes space that is tab now again we apply for loop for loop j equal to 0 j less than y and j post increment operator j plus plus and then c out uh, we want uh, all the values uh, we have type here max and c in max here see out max and all the numbers are come here with spacing as tab is used 
in order to find the sum we have added sum plus equal to max n and then n increment n post increment operator in order to find all these uh, 22 and 23rd line is due to find this sum and then again we want to find the mean mean is equal to sum upon numbers that is uh, sum of numbers upon number of numbers and then see out the it, uh, see out gives the value in output uh, uh, the value of sum and mean in the output now we want to find the variance and then standard deviation as we know variance for variance we proceed initially we take n equal to 0 j equal to 0 and sum equal to 0 now for variance we again apply for loop for loop uh, again j equal to 0 j less than y minus 1 and j increment operator if you can't understand for loop I will explain you in some other video max n that is array array named as max having n value is equal to power max n minus mean square this means this x minus x bar square power comes power power and then bracket 2 means uh, max n minus mean raised to power 2 and then again as we know their summation comes so sum is used here sum plus equal to max n n plus plus up to y minus n that is summation over y minus 1 terms and then variance is equal to we have calculated sum and then divided the term by n minus 1 and uh, we uh, and the output is variance is here variance comes and standard deviation is square root of variance and then terminate the program using term 0 here the program is ready thanks for watching if you like the video comment on my video share my video and subscribe to my channel